Hey everyone, Tech here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to hide apps on your iPhone, specifically on iOS 26 or newer. So let's get started. So first thing you need to do is in your setting, you need to go down and make sure under Face ID and Passcode, you have a Passcode and Face ID turned on for your phone. This will not work without that, so make sure you turn on Face ID and Passcode here. You'll have option to turn on here. I have it turned on, that's why it's a turn off, but Option is to turn on passcode at a bare minimum, and then you can set up face ID if you haven't done so. Now with that on, this is how you can hide an app. So you would take an app, like for example, I'm using this one as an example, you long press and hold until a menu pops up. Key here again, long pressing and holding with your finger, and then you're gonna do what says require, it'll say face ID or touch ID or basically passcode. So you're gonna tap on that. And then you're gonna do is where it says hide and require face ID, you're gonna select that option. And when I do that, it's gonna say it's gonna hide it. So I'm gonna click on hide, and as you can see here, app is gone. Now you won't see the app here anywhere. And if you're looking for the app, where you'll find it is in the very last page here. If you go all the way down to the very bottom, there's a hidden folder. That doesn't seem like there's anything there, but if you tap on it and verify your face ID, you'll see it. And then if I lock the phone again and then reopen it, and go back there, it doesn't show it. I can tap on it again, it'll do face ID verification, and I can see all the app. And then if you ever want to remove it, you'll long press and hold and click on don't require face ID and that will unhide the app. So as you can see here with that, I unhides it and then brings it back up to here and then you can just long press and hold and add to home screen, so unhides it. So that's how you can also unhide it and hide it and I hope this video was helpful so please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. I'll see you guys next time.